YouTube. It's 4.30 in the morning, and there's an orange and bluish light on the horizon, as you can see, and there's a great big planet sitting over us right now. Um, I know you think it's impossible, but it's either a great big planet, or it's the same thing going over time and time again. I keep saying this over and over again, I do. Clouds are the uh, the key to seeing it, and it's so dark right now. It feels like ominous dark, you know. I mean, like really dark. I've just driven all the way back from the Lake District, which is about a five-hour drive back to my house. Um, look at this fucking colour coming up here. Look at this. Um, and all the way home, the sky has felt oppressive. Um, my eyes keep going gritty. And it's not because I'm tired, because I've slept all afternoon. Um, and it's funny because they go gritty. And if I ask my two band members who I've dropped off now, um, if their eyes were going gritty at exactly the same time they were, um, high pitch ringing. Massive high pitch ringing. Um, the sky is moving. I mean, I know the sky moves, and that's a stupid thing to say, but the sky is actually moving. Right? I think the only re best way to see this thing is at night because they turn the sun simulator off, and whatever goes over goes over because it's dark. Um, but you really get to see, as you can see in this video you're watching here, what the sky looks like at night. The sun isn't real, or well, it's not our sun that we're seeing. It's a low Earth orbit sun simulator, um, and it reflects when this thing goes over the top of it. So it's in front of our sun, but real close to us. And as this thing goes over us, they turn on, well, they don't turn up, they turn up the artificial sun, because this thing gives off a blue light as well. Yeah, and you can see the light gets trapped, which is why we're getting these weird rainbows and these sun dogs, because the light, it, maybe it is our sun, maybe it's not sun simulated, but what's happening, this thing is going over the top of our view of the sun, and it creates all these mad rainbows and these mad light beams and that, which means one of two things, that this, it's a sun simulator, um, which you can find out about on the internet, just type it into Google. I'm sure they'll tell you. I'll show you what's going on. I'll show you the documentation that's out there for it. Or number two, it is our sun, and it's uh, we're lied to, and our sun's a lot more local than we're told. So not 93 million miles away, um, and this thing's getting in between, or, you know, behind. Massive, great big 
probably be listened to. Um, it sounds like a ah, on the. It sounds like a distant trumpet on the wind. My ear right now has just gone so high pitched, ringing in my ears. It's been mental. <laughs> I know, like you think I'm a lunatic because. How can there be a planet just there? Let me put this out there. If if I'm right and there's a planet just there, the biggest argument I get from people, subscribers and you know, whatever, is there can't be a planet just there because if there was a planet just there, the gravity, the force of gravity on us would kill us, right? Well, how do you know? You know based on a science, physics, yeah, that we're taught by the mainstream narrative and only taught enough to see their side of the story. Now, so we've all been programmed to believe that if there was a, the, the moon is tidal, and I don't think it is, and because the moon came up the other day, last week, a couple of weeks ago, it was 20 degrees off where it's supposed to come off, 20 degrees. So if it's tidal, why aren't the tides, you know, why aren't the tides moving within accordance of the, uh, of the degrees that the moon was off? Because as far as I'm, I'm aware, they don't. So if there is a great big planet just here, in the sky, which there is, just there, you can see it. Um, how can you, or anybody, say to me that I'm wrong? Because have, has anybody on Earth that's alive right now ever witnessed a great big planet next to us in space, or what we call in space? Um, and the answer to that is no. So then in reality, if you look at ancient documents, um, and you look into the uh, Thunderbolts project about the electric universe, and um, you look into ancient mythology showing you symbolisms of what we now know today is uh, a planetary alignment that was taking place in the skies, um, and it's recorded throughout all sorts of different civilizations and cultures through history. So there has been a point in the past where there have been planets right next to us and the Earth's still here. People are around to record it, to obviously witness it, so you know it makes sense that there could be a great big planet, or well, there is, but there could be a great big planet sitting right next to us and you know, you can spurt off all your physics and all that bollocks as much as you like, but really, you can't say that I'm wrong because no one's ever witnessed the great big planet bar the moon. But I'm telling you right now, that just there, look, is a great big planet. If it's not, why at 20 to 5 in the morning is the sky bright red? else we should all be talking about. Why the fuck, when you fill the sky at night, is it red? Because that's not normal. This, in the sky, is Planet X. Or well, it's the Planet X system, whatever you want to call it, Nibiru, call it what you fucking want. But there is a great big system of something over the debris cloud or planetary bodies, which is what I think they are, and they are coming in very close and they are circling us or we're circling them, and it's the same thing that keeps coming over us time and time and time and time again. People are quite quick to put you down and tell you you're wrong without doing their own research. I'm a pretty logical guy and a 
try to look at things in a logical way I do. I didn't want to see this thing in the sky. I felt like it was thrust upon me, showed me, whatever you want to say. Talking to a guy that spent 20 years trying to prove there isn't a God just to come to the conclusion that there's definitely something higher than us. YouTube, what can make out then? Look, the light there, the light there. 